A very good source claims that the Canon EOS R1 is going to have a global shutter and quad pixel autofocus. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning into The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials. And to make things just a little bit more exciting, I'm giving away a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. Details are in the description down below or you can watch this video here, but please look at the terms and conditions as there are some age and location restrictions. So let's go back to October 15, 2020. I announced that the Canon EOS R1 would have quad pixel autofocus. Now today, Canon Rumors said that it's a strong possibility according to a very good source. Quad pixel autofocus would improve autofocus accuracy no matter what the orientation of the subject or the camera, making an already reliable autofocus system even better. Now previous rumored specs said that the EOS R1 would come with a groundbreaking autofocus system and quad pixel would be an essential part of that architecture. Now this same source from Canon Rumors also confirmed that the Canon EOS R1 would come with a global shutter. This eliminates that strange warping effect when the subject of the camera is moving or even the camera itself is moving, often referred to as rolling shutter. Now both of these capabilities align with a primary target customer. High speed, fast action, sports shooter. Capturing the subject regardless of the orientation and without any distortion to the movement is important. But let's take a look at a summary of the leaked EOS R1 specs to date. The EOS R1 will get a new image sensor exceeding 20 megapixels, but we don't know if this is going to go up to 30 or not. It's going to have a global shutter, quad pixel autofocus, and of course a groundbreaking new autofocus system. It will have the fastest stills rate ever from Canon and up to 20 stops of dynamic range, which will probably boil down to something more like 16 effective stops. Now, leak specs are starting to filter out as expected, so this is getting exciting. I was really happy to see this news on Monday after a relatively slow news week. I know CES was out, but there wasn't a lot of camera stuff. What I would do is I'd expect more coming out over the next couple of weeks up to the next couple of months as we enter in Q2, because I think in Q2 is when we're going to start to see releases of some of these cameras, including the EOS R1. But that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the Cinco Lav S6E and M3 shotgun microphones. I'm going to be awarding these two prizes to one lucky viewer once the channel reaches 20,000 subscribers, which is just about 200 subscribers away. And then for every 10,000 subscribers all the way up to 100,000, I'll be offering a better and more expensive prize. And for the next prize, I've already got it picked out. I've got two prize bundle. One's an Angelbird prize bundle and the other's a Yulanzi prize bundle. Now, once this channel reaches 100,000 subscribers, I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, thank you so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.